It's three rings. I mean, you know, deep in the rap. Check this out, baby. Ain't got a lot of time. Just really don't care. What it do. What it does. Bidia. Bidia Krakow. Don't tell me. It's the way life changes when in love, yeah I surround my soul with the positivity That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see, yeah Good morning, good morning It's Sunday morning I didn't really want to talk too much today I just did a lot of recording So just gonna let you enjoy me watching my day. to my workout clothes because that's how I stay on that grind of course excuse the hair it's a hot mess right now because I'm not really styling it I'm on a mission to transition it so we'll see how that works out but uh, here we go so opening my door this is what I see laying on my floor in the hallway adorable <laughs> and then I go into the kitchen and my daughter is making french toast for everyone she got some bread from Trader Joe's some brioche bread very delicious of course we didn't go into church that day but um, we did watch it on TV while we ate our breakfast it was delicious Probably nothing new. Shout out to the nigga, what it do? Do 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 what he do? Fuck you, man. I wanna fuck with you. No question, she's smiling at me. Now I'm a slave like Ozzy Pappy. I'm a nigga with dirty cars. Pull it to the party with dirty bras. She a chance this time. So after breakfast, I went back in my room to make up my bed. I don't like starting the day with a messed up bed. This feels a little more organized when it's made up before I leave the house. So. Just the way I was raised. I needed to update my planners in my room and in my notebooks. So my son wanted to fill in the dates, so I let him do that while I finished decorating the rest of the planner. <laughs>
actually looking up hairstyle ideas on Pinterest uh, before heading out. I needed to go and grab some groceries for the week. First place I went to was Dollar Tree and then I went to Walmart. At Dollar Tree, I got materials for our new motivational slash vision board. And then Walmart, I got my groceries. Um, I haven't cleaned my car out, honestly, honestly, since like Thanksgiving. It's a hot mess. So once the weather got warm enough for me to be outside and stop raining, I decided to go ahead and clean out my car. And that's how much trash I accumulated. So I was amazed. That was ridiculous. But I'm going to go ahead and pull into the car wash. Since I don't believe it's supposed to be raining anymore in my area, um, go ahead and knock this out. So for dinner, I decided to copycat Chick-fil-A chicken sandwiches. We were wanted some, but instead of, you know, buying and spending money, I decided I'm just going to dupe the recipe, of course. So get some seasoning in the flour, toss it up and fry it up real good. And I bought the secret recipe, the secret sauce, if you will. <laughs> I normally make two meals in one setting if you will so I also made beef and broccoli with some chicken fried rice as an alternative um, my kids always ask for like two different things and I find it easier to have leftovers the next day so two different meals is going I'm just gonna go ahead and layer my chicken sandwich the way I believe chick-fil-a does it only difference is I'm gonna add my chick-fil-a sauce on my sandwich as opposed to you know dipping it if I was to go and buy it at the restaurant and I didn't have any relish or pickles so I bought <laughs> I put relish on does the same thing but yeah there's the secret sauce I'm gonna add on there yeah we, we pretty much drenched our chicken sandwiches in that <laughs> Fresh out of the shower, I'm gonna go ahead and throw on my wristbands and wash my face. Still using the rice water to wash. Love it, has not changed. Try to wash it for at least two minutes. I don't think I did, but hey, I do what I can. I rinse it off with hot, hot water, as hot as I can stand it. Put it on the Fenty Beauty um, toner, fat water, whatever you want to call it. I like it a lot. I do see a difference um, in my face since I've been using it. The L'Oreal Eye Defense, which was my favorite eye cream. Chapstick, of course. And then the um, Belief Aquabomb Moisturizer. For my face 
Ending the night, I went on and decided to change my nails. They are kind of like a hot pink right now. And for Valentine's Day, I wanted to do a red and lighter pink kind of combination. So I went on and ended my night with a pedicure. Good morning. It is Tuesday morning. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it last week, but I am off most of this week. Um, plans that were supposed to be planned kind of unplanned itself, but I still have these days off. So I'm just taking advantage of my time. Um, I really want to tackle my house. I want to rearrange a lot of things, throw away a lot of furniture, just shit I don't need and just try to revamp it so it can feel more like a home because I don't think I'm going to be able to get a house anytime soon. So the best thing I can do is just upgrade my living situation. But right now I am off. I just dropped my son off at school and I am at the park about to get my run on because I haven't ran probably in about three weeks, two weeks. I want to say two weeks. It's probably been like three weeks. I can't call it. But um, yeah, I want to get back into running because I've been eating I have not slowed down on my eating. Like, y'all see what I've been cooking. Everything is pretty much comfort food, large plate size, leftover, wait a couple hours, go back to it, kill the plate. Yeah, me and my kids, <laughs> me and my kids have been eating. So, and it doesn't look like we're stopping because I, my, I told you my children, they give me like a list of recipes they want to try or eat. Like, um, my daughter wants to try this salmon pasta, which I don't like salmon. I don't like the taste it's really fishy to me but if we cook it right the pasta looks really good and we actually watch mr. make it happen a lot of my meals that I'm making especially the chick-fil-a sandwich is from mr. make it happen so he uh, kind of just breaks down the simplest way to cook things because I'm low-key clueless about cooking but I can follow a recipe like a mofo so but <laughs> uh, we have recipes this whole week that we're trying so um, yeah, you guys get to enjoy lots of comfort food this week. Um, aside from that, um, my plans were supposed to be with my significant, but um, his job did not approve of the days. He put it in a month ago, but they're weird. Like my job, I put it in a month ago and it's, you're good. You're, you got the time, whatever. But his is a little more complicated. So um, throughout the year, we have to kind of play around with the dates just to see if we can even plan a getaway. But um this has happened before, so it's no big deal. Like I said, I will take advantage of my time and tackle my house. Um, but yeah, let me go ahead and get this run on and get back home, make some breakfast. No, finish working out. I'm going to continue working out when I get home. Then make some breakfast, shower. Probably, I don't even want to get started on my vision board until I clean my room I don't know because I want to hang my vision board but I want to revamp my room before I hang it if that makes sense so maybe I'll just make it and put it on the side I don't know I don't know we'll see but maybe get started on my vision board if not I'm definitely gonna get started on my closet that is the first thing it's hard to tackle my room until I tackle my closet tackle my closets first so that'll be probably what we're doing today um yeah so let's enjoy this tuesday oh tonight it's taco tuesday i got some bidia y'all saw it bidia from um trader joe's so i could stop buying bidia from the truck because they're expensive but i don't care it's delicious but if this bidia does not come out as good as i hope i'm i'm just gonna i don't know i don't know what i'm gonna do but hopefully i can get it to taste really good if i cook it right so we shall see Bidia. Bidia taco. Laos. Fao. Laos. Fao. Laos. Fao. Hey. Laos. Fao. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Fizz or whatever. So many people get down 
the shower all moisturized and glammed up i trimmed my eyebrows if you haven't can't tell they're a little bit thinner hopefully they're matching i don't know it don't care um so i'm literally trying to decide what i want to do if i want to just lay down and watch tv or fold some clothes or tackle my closet i think i'm gonna fold the clothes first because that has to do with my closet yeah i'm gonna go fold the clothes in the living room and then we'll tackle my closet so so i am here in my closet i need some chapstick much better um so basically <laughs> i think i'm gonna start with this basket right here just to see if i even want this in the closet anymore um because it's holding a whole bunch of shoes i just don't know if i want to go want the shoes i might she already stole another pair of shoes so i might just i'm ready to just to not to replace it like i don't want to keep going shopping it's just if i feel if i haven't really worn these items in the last year and a half that's all the seasons and then some if i haven't worn them in a year and a half it needs to get out of my closet this is still considered the beginning of the year why not still continue purge and get a refresh so and like i said i don't know for some reason my room it just feels like it's getting really really clustered so <sighs> let me just start this is my skateboard um never skated but the kids have their own so they told me to get my own and that's mine this is my daughter's gym bag which is and they were looking for this oh my gosh anyway so i'm just gonna start and probably fast forward the rest so Taking a meal break, I just got some pesto eggs with cheese and a bagel with everything but the bagel seasoning, whatever it's called. And I'm drinking my Trader Joe's white tea with pomegranate. <sighs> yeah, because this closet thing is going to take probably all the days that I'm off as slow as I'm going. So maybe I'll have some coffee after this. We'll see. I don't know. You open up your eyes and stay at me. Oh, this is harder than I thought because some of these items I've had since my first years of college. Uh, this is, don't do the math throughout my age. This is around 2000, between 2003 and 2006. I was buying these things and now I have to throw them away because I'm reaching a new journey in my life, but it's so hard to get rid of them. This is a Roxy bag back in if you can just think of no doubt kind of era i mean <laughs> just everything i was listening to just brings back all the music and the nostalgicness of being high school going into college but anyway this is a roxy bag my daughter doesn't wear purses so she doesn't want them i mean she act like she wants them but they'll literally just sit in her room she doesn't wear them so i have to and then this is an adidas uh beanie I think I've only worn this twice in my life and it's actually really small whenever I do wear it it's tight around my head so I'm reaching a new age where this is kind of this is for the younger generation so I'm just okay so I purged the shoes that I have in here and I moved this whole basket over here I went through my closet it looks a little smaller from my view, you probably can't tell, but I purchased a lot of clothes, there's a whole pile over there. Um, I purchased some shoes, so I have a lot more shoe area. What I wanted was to be able to walk in my closet. So I'm going to keep my hamper right here, and I won't be able to walk into my closet. So I'm going to get rid of furniture outside my closet to keep my hamper, because I like the idea of being able to walk in my closet. So, um, I have my shoes stacked up over here in the wall instead of right here. And then, like I said, this basket's right here for now. Because um, I don't really close this door, so it's okay that it kind of sticks out. But that is my purged closet so far. Ignore the floor. I do need to vacuum. That is on my to-do list. So, but for now, let me show you the pile. 
that I'm getting rid of. So all this right here, shoes, all these shirts, some of this stuff still has tags on it because I have not worn them because I outgrew them before I could wear them. So yeah, that's what that's about. But anyway, I'm gonna actually probably have a little yard sale um, with the people around here because my kids know a lot of the kids and their moms. So I'm just gonna have a two for six. Everything is whoop. Everything is two dollars, four dollars, or six dollars. So it's whatever you wanna pay. <laughs> okay, so now we are tackling my Twilight collection section and like some paperwork this whole cabinet i don't want anymore i want to purge all that paperwork whatever that's in that drawer if i don't need it i'm gonna find i have a um a cabinet like an actual file cabinet in the kitchen next to the table that is for important paperwork so honestly i feel once i go through all of these drawers this is going to be empty this will be removed from my room my twilight collection i'm going to try to merge with my library over here like I said, I'm just trying to condense all this wood and wood, like, look how much space I would have without this here. You know what I'm saying? So, that's next. Coming live on Channel 4 News. I bought this microphone years ago because I like the idea of lip singing to a lot of songs. I should have just got karaoke if you actually think about it. I don't know why, but I saw this on Amazon. It was super cheap. Um, now we just use it for when we do have church at home. Whoever is speaking or reading out the Bible or praying or singing, we use the mic for it. So it's just, it's nothing. I don't put batteries in it. It doesn't amplify. It's literally just a toy. I ended up crashing for the rest of the night watching One Punch Man. Yeah. Good night. Good morning. It is Wednesday. Um, yeah, I didn't get to make the tacos last night because when a certain time of the evening comes, it's too cold and I just crashed because I literally was moving all day yesterday. Like, I really didn't sit down. Even when I was eating, I was standing up. Like, I, yeah, I just worked on the room the whole time. Maybe I sat down for like a minute or when I went to go pick up the kids driving. But by 8 o'clock, 8.30, I was in bed chewing on popcorn. Yeah. Anyway, so I'm going to make the media tacos today. Doesn't matter if it's not Tuesday. It's going to get made. Um, I did finish more than half of what I wanted to accomplish in my room. What's last is my desk. I'm going to organize how I want, what I want on my desk. What I want on my desk is my makeup and perfume alongside my laptop. I, when I do my makeup in my bedroom, my bathroom, I have to lean over a sink. My sink space, my counter space is very small and I'm just leaning over doing a lot of, and they don't even try to sit. I'm so far from a mirror. It's, it's just not very compatible. Sitting at my desk with the mirror right there and then all my utensils literally right there in front of me, I'm able to manage it. It's more like a vanity instead of me sitting on a bathroom counter with a huge sink and things falling in a sink. Like, it's a lot. I've dropped makeup in my toilet. It's just, so I'm going to move that over there. All my books, I'm going to kind of navigate under my desk and on this countertop. Um, and my mail, I'm going to put over there. But for the most part, I've already woken up, dropped off the kids and ran to back to the park and ran and I just finished my workout took a shower got a little decent for the day and I'm going to make some breakfast and then get started on my desk so part two Advantage of life 
Cause we don't understand it I just wanna live right In a world that wants me to fail Okay, so I'm basically done Um, this is what my, I already showed my desk office basically is looking like behind that I have my mirror that's my old motivational board I'm going to make a new one probably tomorrow so that one's going in the trash I'm just keeping it until I transfer some goals I haven't done yet my full mirror um, this is a mail station um, I have to go through it because a lot of this is old mail. A lot of this is trash and just needs to be filed. And then here are my notebooks that I work on throughout the week with my diffuser. And then my makeup station, got it organized on top. Everything is in these three drawers. Um, TV corner, kind of cat a cornered so it's facing my bed. You guys already saw the closet. Um, this is the top of my dresser now. I basically slid my jewelry boxes over here to the corner since there's room. This is going back to my office. It's going to my car. That's just changed. It's going away. All this is going to be cleared off, but this is basically how that's looking. My twilight corner, I put everything just lined up on top of here. We organized these drawers, got rid of junk I didn't need, changed the picture that was there. Um, this is just candles. I don't know what I'm going to do with just yet. This isn't going to stay here. Um, and then switched my bed, that's my daughter laying in it, but switched my bed from facing this way to this way. So my head is laying at this end of the bed and took down those three pictures up there and put up that one just to kind of match the color of the bed. So this is what the room is looking like so far. I'm going to get a new carpet. This is ugly, this is hideous. Looks still a little cluttered to me. I just, I think I just need to get to this because that's bothering me. But for the most part, I like how the beauty area is set up. I like how the desk area is set up separately. Okay, so it's about 1.45 in the afternoon. I'm pretty much done with my room. Um, kind of straightened up the rest of the house. Um, got the recycling together. And I'm about to create a pile um, of all the stuff I'm gonna either throw away to Salvation Army or try to sell to my neighbors. But I'm just gonna set it up in the living room so when they come on Saturday, whenever I wanna display it, um, they can just kinda go through it and see if they wanna buy anything. But I'm so happy right now because I did something I haven't done before. I created a mini charcuterie board. <laughs> so this is sourdough bread warmed up with butter. This is um, provolone. This is mustard cheese. This is um, prosciutto. <laughs> Excuse me. And this is um, a, so, uh, a pepper salami. I forgot the name of it. But it's all from Trader Joe's. You've probably seen it in my haul last vlog. But it's nice for starters. I don't need a huge board just to get the idea. It's cheese, meats, breads. Um, I don't have any wine. But yeah, I'm pretty excited. <laughs>
to Big Lots because I want to buy my kids a new lamp because she's using my desk lamp right now which I need now that my makeup is in the corner. Um, dude, how about you don't turn like that, evil? Like, the light didn't turn red, I'm still crossing. Anyway, people learn how to drive. But, um, yeah, so I'm just headed to the bank right now, then I'm going to Big Lots. Um, I forgot the cans for recycling. I was supposed to grab that today since I have time. I mean, I might just make two trips and go out and get it. Otherwise, I do go back to work tomorrow. And I can do it on my lunch break tomorrow. It's just sometimes it's a lot to go through on a lunch break. But it's all good. It's all good. But yeah, I got my run on this morning. Had a little breakfast date. And um, got fresh for the day. I'm out here in all this traffic at 12 o'clock. It's Thursday. Why is it so traffic? Why is it so much traffic? This is weird. This city is anyway. Head to the bank, 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 bank. Friday morning I'm on my way to work <laughs> I don't feel like it because it's been a very relaxing week but um, it's 6 30 in the morning <clears throat> I just finished working out I made my breakfast it's avocado toast with bacon and eggs I'm making my coffee right now I'm not tired I'm fine I just <laughs> I got used to not getting up and going to work but it's Friday so it's just going to be a quick work day at work, whatever you want to call it. So it's going to be a quick day. Um, when I come home, I honestly want to wash this hair and maybe press it. But that's going to be on the next vlog. It's not going to be on this vlog today. Because this week has been pretty busy. Pretty full, busy week. Since I've been home, I've been recording a lot. So... But I guess I'm going to end off this vlog and saying thank you for kicking it with me this week. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope, hopefully it's a lot more entertaining than last month, January, because I just really didn't have anything to vlog. Not a lot was happening. Um, but some exciting activities are coming up next week. So we're just going to keep the vlogs on a roll here, whether I'm doing something or not. God bless you. Take your leap of faith on Jesus. Sorry, you tripped me. The bunny's being retarded. So take your leap of faith on Jesus. Put God first. New year. Think different. I'm talking to myself as well. So, and enjoy the rest of your week. <laughs>